Welcome back, everybody, to the Workers' Comp Podcast. It's me, your boy G, and Eddie. Um, right now, we're down two people because, um, you know, things happen in life. Like, just like, work, we're, we work. We work uh, all the time. So, right now, it's just me and Eddie. We're going to keep it going. Things are going to go smooth later on. Uh, just to keep everybody posted and updated, um, everything's everything is going good smooth but life is happening so people gotta sit out um we have more in store for y'all later and yeah let's just, let's just get on with it eddie how, how you been man how been you been good man i haven't seen you in a, in a quick man man bro it's, it's been a while it's been a while <laughs> how's things been it's been uh part like just life in general. Life in general, bro. It's, it's been good. Is I, I there's been days and where I've been tired. Like I, I come home and I'm I'm like tired. Still, I still go to the gym, work out, do my thing. Um, I eat way better though. Good. I eat, I eat a lot more. No, get a, I get a lot more sleep. And like, I, I I mean I'm not gonna say like I have like the best uh, job or whatever in the world, but uh, it fits you. If it, yeah. It's fitting and nice, and it's it's new, man. I guess. And, it, and it has to be nice because since you you know since you're trying to work on your physique, you're always work technically working oh, yeah, on your bro. physique, man. Yeah. Because you're always lifting, yeah. yeah, yeah. So it has to help out. It does, it does, man. Uh, I've noticed that like when I would hit um, like a leg workout, like calves, it, it, it's a lot easier, oh, man. Yeah, I'm like, okay. oh shit, dude, climbing like, a ladder every yeah, day, yeah, bro. Oh, yeah. Like, and then the yeah. Yeah, it's, it's it's been really nice. Uh, I've also had like I got more free time for myself, so now I'm actually like I can cook a lot more. Like for I can cook my lunch, I make breakfast in the morning. Like uh, it's just a lot better, bro. It's Hell a lot yeah. better. Yeah. yeah, and for a lot of people that don't know, like I don't have somebody cook for me. I cook my like everything for myself. I'm just, okay, I'm just, okay, okay, okay. I gotta do everything. I gotta do everything <laughs> myself, man. Like, no one gets up for me, bro. No one does anything for me. I gotta get up and actually like do my stuff. So yeah, but I do get tired. It's, it's a lot of physical work. I, just, I don't know. People won't notice, but I'm. I got a lot more tan now. Yeah, you are. Yeah. I could barely notice you when you stepped out. Of the gym. <laughs> I was like, who's this guy? Um, but yeah, man, I'm still doing the same thing. You know. Yeah. How's it been going down there, man? How's it? How's how's stuff been, bro? Uh, you know, it's the same stuff. It's different days, you know. Yes. You remember how all the, the stuff goes, but, you know, whatever. Life goes on. Yeah. I chose this gig, so I got to push through, man. Yeah, man. I, uh, when was it? This past this past weekend, I saw, I, I saw, I saw a couple of people that I remember. Joel, Desi, um... Lindsay, that was about it, bro. Everybody else was a new face, other yeah. than like the 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 full time people, bro. But yeah, dude, it was it was it was a little weird. It was a little like, dang. Uh, so, so that was Saturday. Yeah, that was Saturday, man. Yeah, I I showed up super late, but you know, I also. Well, were you morning or evening? I was morning, bro. Uh, uh, yeah, Jared okay, okay. was trying to give me the work the evening too. He was like, "Don't worry about coming in the morning if you want to come in the evening." And I was like, "I really, I really didn't want to come in the evening, bro, because." <laughs> I had things to do that evening too. Yeah. I'm glad. I'm honestly glad I didn't go because I went out that evening, like at, yeah. n- at nine or ten or whatever. Oh, yeah. And I was I was already I was already gone by. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was already gone where'd by. You, where'd you go? Uh, the clubs, bro. Yeah, just the regular. Yeah, just the regular. Yeah, like nothing. But it's always on a Sunday, bro. And uh, I ended up getting lucky that night. So oh, yeah. yeah, that's why. That's yeah. why I say it's worth it, bro. It was worth. It was totally worth it, bro. Screw the money. Uh, but yeah, bro, I suffered the next. I suffer this coming this Monday. Monday, I suffered on Monday, man. I was so hungover. I was, I was so messed up, man. I was messed up, dude. Everybody can like everybody was like, "Damn, dude, this dude messed up." But I still worked. I still did it. I you still, didn't bring the crew down. Nah, I didn't bring the. I, uh, not one nah, of those. Was, nah, I'm not one of those. I, I. They were just. They just kept telling me like, "Hey, bro, relax, hydrate, dude." Because because I was like sweating up there, bro. Like they were like, "Bro, you look like you're drenched in sweat right now, man." You're yeah, my like shirt and everything was all wet. Yeah, I was like, "Nah, bro, just let's let's keep going." Because I let's we gotta get home. And right when because I, I only got like two hours of sleep that day too. 
And uh, right when I got home, I just knocked out, dude. Yeah. Knocked out. That was that was all she wrote, bro. That's why I wanted to go. I wanted to go home so I could just knock out, because that's what that's really what I wanted to do. I didn't care if I was like a little dehydrated or like sweating or, or like yeah, I looked tired. Swamp ass just, yeah. all day, bro. I didn't care, bro. I was like, <laughs> we gotta go home, bro. We gotta go home. The faster I get this done, the faster we get home. Yeah, yeah. I hear you. I've, I've done that a couple times, not on purpose. My dad will hit me up on the weekends, like, hey, what are you doing? not even up yet and he was like <laughs> i need your help you know put me up in an attic and i'm like jeez damn bro <laughs> but it is what it is yeah it's what we go through yeah but anyways um Dude, should i get into my segment my like love life segment bro then go for it like, all right all right, all right, all right. well life. we'll see what's we'll like what one of these girls i really respect so i can't i'm not gonna really touch on that part uh, I'm not gonna go super into detail on her end because I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. The other girls though, I don't give a fuck about. So, uh, you know, I got I got lucky. Um, man, I've been getting lucky left and right. So not lucky. I guess you can't say. I, at this point, it's not just really pulling luck. game. Yeah, just doing my thing, bro. <laughs> pulling game, doing doing what I can do, bro. Uh, basically every weekend, bro, I've been getting laid. Nice. Basically, pretty much every weekend I've been getting laid, bro. I'm not that my sleep suffers is, is, has been suffering from it, bro. But it, I don't like. It's worth it. Yeah, I'm like uh, I do my thing, bro. When I go in there, I'm doing my thing, bro. And it's it's it is what it is, bro. And this past um this past Halloween, I think was probably my best Halloween it's ever been. Like all all month, bro. It was it was it was a rock solid month, man. Nice. It was a good month, man. Did you and go trick or treating? Oh, not for candy, anyway. Not for candy, bro. <laughs> it wasn't candy, bro. I mean, you can I think I candy. think I had more fun. I think I had more fun than most people during uh, Halloween week and like the month, bro. But yeah, yeah, it was. Awesome. It was good, bro. It's been. It's been. Go for you. I think I think I think people are starting to recognize me at the club, bro. I think I gotta relax. I go to the club, bro. I think the bouncers and the owners are starting to realize that I go there more than they do. <laughs> but <laughs> uh yeah, I got I gotta I mean we're gonna we're gonna go out there and fiend. Well, not fiend, yeah, but like I'm gonna go out there and do my thing one more weekend because it's my boy's birthday this coming up weekend. Oh nice. Yeah, bro. So he he's he already told me what like he already told me what they're gonna do, so I just gotta show up and and you know do my thing how I always do it. Oh yeah. Yeah. Did, did y'all go to that you two go to that club a lot? Which well, else, bro, but he's he's always with you, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah okay, yeah. so it's not yeah. a good scene for him. You're nah. not taking him out into the jungle. Okay. Nah, 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 nah. he okay, mean, okay. They, everybody, and it's not it's not just me. It's it's a whole crew. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, I got like, my whole, like the know, five six. The whole yeah. yeah. No, I, I mean, it's yeah, yeah. five six five six. It's it's more, it's more like fifteen, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go in deep, bro. Okay, okay. We're gonna go in deep, bro. And That's every time, pretty much. Nah, it's not every time. I think I think uh, a casual like. Typical amount of people is for us is like four or five. Okay, four okay. Five. I didn't know if y'all roll fifteen deep every time. No, no, no. Fifteen deep. No, nah, everybody's taking off for their birthdays, like and and preparing themselves, like okay. they because he, he gave us like basically a month, like a month in advance. Like, hey, this is this is yeah, this is my day. We're gonna do this for that. Okay. And then he was like, just everybody just start taking the day off, and so hit, and so everybody just like set that day to take off. Nice. That's what we're doing, bro. Hell yeah, dude. It's, it's gonna awesome. be it's gonna be crazy, man. It's gonna be crazy. Uh um, good luck to you on that. Yeah, bro. That's, <laughs> I won't be part of that. <laughs> oh man, you don't you don't gotta be, man. I'm just, and then yeah. I'm still I mean I I'm 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 not gonna be I'm not gonna be like some of the some people I know and like bitch about it. No, I still I still do you think I'm still gonna do it. Yeah, yeah, I feel yeah, you, I feel yeah, you. Yeah. Anyways, Ed, what's what's what, what's what's your week's been like, bro? Your month? My month? Just nothing, man. Really, just nothing. Just uh, you know, um, you know. I of course we just um, I just got this, purchased this. So you know, trying to figure it out for a little bit. Um, a whole whole new ballpark, <laughs> whole new ballpark. I I I still don't know. What's really going on, but uh, it works. It seems like it's working. Um, and 
<laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah, bro. It looks whatever. dope as fuck. Uh, for you know, I mean, Presley will let me know if I if I fucked up or whatever. So, um, <laughs> yeah. But other than that, I mean, just that, just random stuff, man. Just uh, you know, keeping up with work. Um, man, just yeah, and yeah, then just yeah. keeping up with life, dude. Just you know, I don't know. It, it just seems like I don't have enough time anymore to do anything to my for myself as much as I used to. So just trying to figure everything out still. But hey, it's still going good. Um, you know, uh, Halloween, I, I took my niece, my niece out, you know, trick or treating. That was, mm-hmm. that was fun. Usually I was in the game. Um, did you dress up or you just went? No, 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 I don't, I don't. <laughs> so back when I first bought this house, Back in 2010, um, yeah. we went, we went kind of crazy on you know themes, you know Christmas. Um, yeah, we'd go all out, all, all out, all out. Damn, like okay, like I'll, I'll put it this way, um, excluding <clears throat> the decorations. I, decorations we probably spent, you know, upwards of four thousand dollars on. I mean, we went God all damn. out, um, and then candy. I mean, we we just got. Murdered with candy. I mean, God. probably five, six hundred bucks in just candy. Yeah, Shit, and that was bro. back in 2010. So you can only back when candy was like cheap, cheap. You know, now it's like whatever. My bag is like twenty bucks, yeah. bro. Like, and it, you know, we we would go up to. I wouldn't say all at once, and to you know, back in 2010, we didn't spend all that money in the um, the Halloween decorations all at once. It was mm-hmm. over a course of a you know few years, right, 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 right? But we would go up to uh, you know Spirit and you know find stuff online and we just purchase it and, and it was all coming together. Um, and I just stopped doing it because the kids in the neighborhood were getting big. People were stealing our stuff and it just it just yeah, damn it, it bro, just sucks. So, um, dude, I've had that happen to me, bro. Um, when um it was Christmas time, like it was like five years ago, bro. Back whenever it was a big thing, like people would steal decor, like it just oh, became yeah, a big yeah, thing, bro. People were stealing decorations, bro. And that's it's kind of like why, bro. Yeah. Like, like are you you're just gonna steal someone's and then put it up at your house, or yeah. you, are you gonna and, sell it? Like, and if you sell it, you, who are you gonna sell it to, bro? You feel good about yourself on that, yeah, yeah, bro. Like, like no, for sure. It was, you know, and actually before the neighbor, this neighbor, the last neighbor, he he was he was one of them, and um, it was like. Dude, like, I, I got a camera, bro. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> and, and, you know, I kind of played it off. I was like, you know, I went over to his house, and and he was outside or whatever, and I was like, hey, man, uh, you wouldn't happen to see, it was like a fog machine with a, uh-huh. a you know, uh, like a a crawling dead guy, you know, and it, it, whatever. But anyways, it went over there, and he's like, oh, man, no. I was like, oh, because, you know, I was reviewing my tape, and uh, I saw someone come over um, from your way, grab it, and then went over towards your house, and it looked like they went into your garage, so I just didn't know if you seen it. He was just like, oh, no, 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 I, I haven't, you know. Ah, and then, man. And then, like, probably two or three days later, uh, he comes out, and he's like, hey, man. He's like, I found something on the side of my house, and... It was that stuff, and I was like, "Oh man!" So maybe they just threw it on the side of your house, you know? Maybe, it, it, you know, it wasn't a bit. It was a big deal, but it's just like, "All right, dude, chill out." Yeah, dude, um, no. you already took it. I caught you on it. You just come clean, whatever. But yeah, it just it got to the point where it was just like um, I was replacing replacing the stuff that people were stealing, and and you know, it was just it's not that. Obviously, it's at that point, bro. Yeah, bro. So. You- I uh, we actually just sold all the the stuff this year. Got rid of it because it was actually like on the high end value. Uh-huh. Um, so we made you know I would say a majority of the money back, you know, which is nice. Um, Damn. Yeah. And then that's that's that was back in like 2010 when you bought it all. Exactly. Like, oh, I mean, Damn. there was a lot of stuff that was just done for like you know it's seen its better days. You yeah, know? yeah. Yeah. So, but besides that. Um, yeah, man, just uh, taking my niece out, you know, seeing the other side, you know, seeing everybody else, how everybody else does it, and it's just like, it, it's kind of depressing, you know, not seeing too much done, you know, just people just sitting outside their house, no decor, 
I mean, I didn't have any decor either in front of my house, but I was also walking the streets with my niece. Um, and then there was people, there's a few houses. I, I don't know if you've ever done it, but people do like jello shots and stuff. Uh, I've, ne- I've never seen that. that, that yeah, 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 so there's a few people. Like, there was this one this one chick. She was, like, mixing drinks in the back of her truck, which I guess is cool, but it was hot. Like, the stuff was hot, so it was terrible. It was, it was you felt every yeah, bit of it going down. Uh, yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just, she was uh, like, yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a uh, bartender, or I was a bartender, and this is what, and she was gone, dude. So it was like, I was drinking the drinks that she was drinking, while she was gone, like real, <laughs> real heavy on uh, alcohol, and I was yeah, just yeah, like, "Holy yeah. cow!" Um, and then, yeah, some lady or some couple were doing jello, like had the kids candy, and then they're like, "Hey, you want a jello shot?" And we're like, "Yeah, sure, why not?" And that was uh, that was pretty rough too. I don't know what alcohol they used, but it was strong. But yeah, it was fun, man. Just hanging out with my niece. Yeah, you know. Oh. It was cool. That's, that's unique, bro. I'm not, I have like when I was a kid or whenever, when even growing up, bro. They didn't they didn't have that, bro. They didn't have like people. Parents would never be like, or like anybody else would never be like, like tickets. It would be the candy or no candy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like 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 that. Like I'd had they'd had parents like give out more candy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I guess I guess I guess that'd be part of more like of uh, exposure. You know what I'm saying? Because you know how everybody's like exposed to pretty much everything. Oh yeah. So yeah. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure if we tell like a ten year old or eleven year old, like, "Hey, uh, well, you know what a Jello shot is?" They'll probably be like, "Oh." Well, and that's no. what's crazy, man. Just like from when we were growing up to now, how like, you know, when we were, you know, seven eight years old to what seven eight year olds know now. Yeah, like, bro. It's so, so advanced. like they, dude. It's like I didn't know some of the stuff. Like I would. There's some stuff like I wouldn't even know, bro. Yeah. Like and and now they they clearly know obviously know yeah and it's I don't know, it's it's expo- I I would say it should it'd be that exposure because I don't remember that when I was a kid mm-hmm. but I mean if that's been go- if that's going on if that's the new thing I'm I, I have nothing against it it's just like wow yeah 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 <laughs> yeah sometimes my niece says stuff to me I'm just like I don't know what to say to that like yeah, what you in that situation? <laughs> yeah just bro, like, like okay and then you just try to like. Steer the conversation somewhere else, you know, and, and, you know, kids are fun just because they're so easy to get them off one conversation, but, you know. Yeah. It's, it's cool. Um, but that brings me to my next thing, dude, like, um, I just, I feel like Halloween is way more overrated now than what it used to be and i don't know if that has to do with um just social media it just yeah. seems like you know you do, you do have the selected few and i i like halloween you know in general i like i said i used to go all out yeah and i don't do it anymore would i i don't think if if things would have kept on happening or if things happened differently um I still don't think I would still pursue that. Definitely now, not as not as how expensive everything is. Um, I mean, shoot, you could, and this is just what I've seen. I, I don't know if you can buy it cheaper, but I, I I remember buying like a bag of candy for three or four bucks, and now it's like seven to nine dollars a bag. And like I said, you know, we would buy. I mean, we'd basically fill up a basket full of candy, you know, and then still run out. So we'd have to, you know, but. I don't see the you know how people how I would personally be okay with spending that much money on you know something I'm just gonna hand out to kids you know, yeah, I, yeah you get the delightment of handing kids you know you see them all happy blah, blah, yeah blah, and they're all dressed up it's not, yeah, 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 yeah yeah I see I get that but yeah bro like I feel like they. I don't know. There, there's dude, it's 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 it, there's certain uh, holidays that I feel like are, are just kind of over, just way overrated. They 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 pushed it to the max, um, along with you know, and and with Halloween, the movies they keep on remastering or you know keep on moving forward on like you know yeah I think Michael I think they should have and this and that and it's just it's just getting terrible like the movies are just getting worse and worse like they're they've they've done everything they could do with this character and they just keep on bringing they it gotta, back yeah they gotta and it's like 
Okay. The, I mean, if they don't want to kill him off, I get it, bro. Or like, or like, 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 say that he's dead or whatever, bro. Yeah. They can retire him, bro. Like, yeah, no, for sure. Like, you know, like, you, it's just like watching. I don't know if you watch very much. You don't watch very much TV. I don't watch very no, but I used to watch. I used to be so big into horror, bro. So I've seen a lot of horror yeah, movies, bro. So I, I mean, it's just like, um, you you're watching a, a series, you know, and. Mm-hmm. And you're real hooked on it first, second, third season. And then, you know, it de- depending on how they do it is how much further you're going to watch it. Uh-huh. They got to kill it sometime. Like, sometime they have to kill it or you're just going to be like, all right, man, I- I'm done. Just like, yeah, yeah. kind of like Walking Dead. And like, yeah, 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 like that, bro. It was, it, I think it got into, to, I think it was yeah, on like still season making, eight. I think they're still making it. I- I'm not for sure, but. Damn. It, it's just kind of getting to the point where it's like, okay, we get it. Like, you know, there's nothing left. And y'all are trying to make a world that, you know, there's no peace in anymore because anything you try to do to move forward, it just keeps on getting wrecked. Yeah. So it's it's kind of like that in a sense. It just, these these movie producers just need to stop. Just make something else up. You know, like, you know, this the superhero, the Marvel, they keep on making a new superhero, which is fine. It's not reflecting off the same superhero a hundred yeah, times, yeah, yeah. you know. So I'm okay with that. But eventually, it gets to the point where, like, dude, I haven't seen like the last superhero movie I saw was the the new Thor that came out, and I thought that it wasn't that it was it was okay. It was, it was okay. Yeah, it was, it was it was like I I saw it. Won't ever see it again. But yeah. I, like saw it that one time, it was okay. Yeah. Um. But before then, I didn't go to the movies for like six months, bro. Yeah, and I, dude, I I missed I missed like all the Spider Mans, dude. I missed the Spider Mans. Yeah. I missed um, there was another one, the Doctor Strange, bro. I missed those because I didn't want. I just it wasn't interested. Like none of it was. I was just like, I, I I'm really you, trying to go see that man. I tell you what, the last Superman, I and I think I can't remember which one it is. All I know it's it's a kid at first, and I don't know. I just kind of lost interest in it. I know they're trying to get the younger generation into this you know, into the Spider-Man more. And, mm-hmm. I, and I think they did a good job previously. I mean, every kid wants to be Spider-Man, Batman, and all that. So, yeah. but anyways, I, maybe maybe I just didn't get where they were going with it. But the last Spider-Man, I just, I couldn't watch it. I ended up turning it off, and I was like, okay, let's go do something. This is this was terrible. Um, and like I said, I, I may have not given it enough no, nah, but that's the, thing, that's, that's the thing about it, though. People, like, people are just sitting there. Like, you sit there and wait, and then you're just... I'm, like, a lot of people don't get this, bro, because a lot of people are probably just, like, like to sit there and watch stuff, bro. But if, yeah. I, if I'm sitting there and I'm watching a movie and it doesn't get good within, like, 10 minutes, bro, or, like, something doesn't catch my attention within Peace that time out. span, yeah, I'm like, I got to get up. I got to yeah. do something physical. See, and I, and I won't even, like, even attempt to go watch The Fast and Furious anymore. Yeah, dude, I didn't see the ninth one, the the one the that just came out, bro. One, holy cow! Yeah, like after the, I don't know, I I kind of lost it, and I don't even know if it's part of the series, but Tokyo Drift, I just lost it on. It was such, such a terrible production. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I think I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't even know if it was part of the series, but uh, I kind of lost it after that. I was like, eh, okay, and then I'd start to. Like the whole still in tankers and stuff, I just don't. I mean, they 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 overplayed it, bro. They, exactly, they, they did to kill um, it. Yes, bro. They, I mean, they just. I don't know, bro. It, it, it was, but but back back to like yeah, it's like the Halloween series. Yeah, they need to kill that. That's that's been overdone. Halloween is getting over. It's getting really overrated, really yeah, expensive but I feel too. Like, but in 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 that sense, I just feel like every holiday now is really just they're just pushing it too hard. I mean, like you mean you were talking earlier, they already have Christmas stuff in the store, and we're Dude, two we weren't months, even <laughs> two months away. Yeah, two months away. Like, okay, dude. Like, like. I don't know, bro. I, I was because because for work, I, I like every now and then I have to stop by Home Depot see if I can get like if I can find more supplies of what yeah. I use. And um, I was going in there and I would see like all the inflatable like Christmas trees, the snowman and stuff like that. And dude, it was this was the beginning of October. Yeah, and Halloween hadn't even like no people weren't even there was still like 
people expecting to see horror stuff. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like it was just starting, bro. Like the all this the horror things and like spooky stuff was just starting. But and then I saw I was seeing that, bro, and I was just like, I I was just thinking to myself, I was like, man, they're like, I don't even care. Yeah. Like I don't like I don't I don't, I, I hope they and, and, and maybe it's because we don't have kids and I guess the whole. You know, I haven't really talked to anybody that has kids, but actually, you know what I have, and 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 yeah, one one of the people, you know, one of the the, the parents, group, actually, a group of people that I parent, yeah, parents that I've talked to, um, and a group that was like three or four, yeah, um, yeah, they said, you know, they they love Christmas, but they they feel like it's pushed way too hard, um. And then it's just getting harder to buy for their kids because of all all the stuff they, you know. Back, I guess back when we were kids, you dude. Know, back when we were kids, dude, we I'd be happy with the Lego set, dude. Exactly, man, bro. And, that, and you that, can't that, even afford a Lego set anymore. <laughs> My niece was like, "Hey, I, I I want the Death Star from Star Wars," and I'm like, "Okay, yeah, cool. I'll look at it." The thing's eight hundred dollars. God damn! I was like, "Girl, you lost your mind." God damn! Yeah. So and then you know. I was actually talking to my hygienist um, about it, and she's like, "Oh yeah, that's on the cheap end." She's like, "My Harry Potter set." Like, I guess she's like, "What the fuck, bro?" She's really big into Harry Potter, and yeah, she has like six or seven different Harry Potter sets, and and she's like, "Yeah, it's probably you know three to four thousand dollars in Harry Potter Legos." Oh my just, god, bro! <laughs> what the hell, bro? I was the- like, okay, bro. But- I remember. You, when you, when you, do you remember when the Lego sets, like the big, big Lego sets, were twenty bucks, bro? Oh yeah, remember I got that, one. It was a box, and it looked like a Lego, yes, bro. Know? Like, ah, damn, dude. It looked like a Lego, and that's you know, I got that, and I think that's really just kind of it. I mean, you know, I got, I bought myself like a little, like, I don't know, little cars, you know, the Lego cars. Yeah, yeah, yeah and then, dude. Those are- and, but the cool thing about Legos is. Like once you have like wheels and you know wings and stuff, you can build whatever the hell you yeah, want. Yeah, you could, bro. I remember the <laughs> like like the the, the imagination that Legos oh, used yeah. to have. Used to have, bro. Now it's just like if you buy the Lego set, you're buying like something that they they've already came up with, and, yeah. and you just got to build it. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Exactly. Back then, if you just had the wheels and the wings, you were building whatever you could. Yeah, all the- you could buy the bit, build the biggest thing, the little tiny, like a yeah. bunch of little things. And have a whole fleet like it was. It was dope, bro. I yeah. I and I, and I think that's kind of why there's so much innovation in our time era. And I and I might be completely wrong, and I might be full of shit. But I just, you know, some of the stuff that I see, um, you know, engineering wise, and it, and I'm not gonna say it's off Legos, but man, I I sure hope it is because some of the shit that I used to build with Legos, man. I think it was cool. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. I, no, it was cool, bro. It was, it was, you know, I could, I could play with Legos four to, f- dude, for hours, for bro, hours, for hours, man. bro. And then you know, you, my cousin would come into town, um, or we would go over to um, my aunt's house, and she had a big deal of Legos, man, probably the size of this table, just uh, uh, tub or not Tupperware, but yeah, kind of Tupperware, like a big tub, tub. yeah, tub. Like a- just full of Legos, dude, from you know her son, and you know, and. Of course, they they just went crazy because they had to do it, so, <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, yeah. You know, me and my cousin, we would play for hours over there, like you know, and it, and it was kind of sad Dude. when we were leaving. You know, you get all upset, like oh yeah, yeah, stay. like because because you weren't either you weren't even finished building what you were trying to build, or exactly. you build like a lot of cool shit. Yeah, you like, throw it in. Yeah, there, and then you're like you go over the next time. You're like, oh yeah, that's cool, man. And he started messing with it again. And yeah, man, because we used to go over there all the time. My cousin, he lived pretty far away, so I didn't get to see him often. So it was always playing by myself and yeah. whatever. But yeah, man, I just I can't I couldn't imagine having to buy the stuff for kids these days because it's not as simple as that anymore. It's not, bro. It's I, you know, iPads, I, Max, iPads. Yeah, fucking dude. dude. You, it's like you're spending at I wanna, least. I want a Wii, like. One is Switch. PS5, PS5, bro. The and then I said dude, a Wii, a way back. A Wii, a Wii. <laughs> I mean, a, like a back back in my day, we some kids wanted Wiis, bro. Yeah, back in yeah, but now it's like PS5 or like iPad Air, or yeah. something like 
That's at least a thousand dollars, bro. Oh yeah, and this is I don't know. It, it's crazy. Like, how could you? You know, how how could you really afford? I mean, just just to think, like, okay, let's let's imagine. You know, you have. I mean, what's the average? Two kids, two to three kids. I think that I think it is, bro. Yeah. So just think, if you had to, I mean, do they even have layaway anymore? Because I know my mom used to take take advantage of layaway. I don't think they have layaway anymore. I, I don't think, think layaway. It, it, it might. I don't Walmart. Think so. I think Walmart's the only place that does it anymore, bro. Yeah. Because I'm. Ooh, bro. That's a good. That's, that's the only a, reason we ever used to get stuff. My mom <laughs> used to put it on layaway, and yeah. then you know, she, we'd go to Walmart or where. I, I'm pretty sure everybody used to have a layaway, but anyways, we, everybody did, yeah. But yeah. I don't know who does it. Like I haven't heard that in a while, bro. Yeah, like we would go to Walmart and she would, see, and 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 it was such a setup how she would do. It would be like, oh, let's go down the toy aisle, and she would see what we would be like, you know, really into, and then she'd be like, no, we can't buy it, and then, you know, I'm glad my mom had a great memory because if my, you know, if I had kids and they would point stuff out, I'd. Be, I'd be like, oh, what? What did you point out? Well, yeah. <laughs> <What>, like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, I mean, oh man, thanks to layaway, I actually had a Christmas, um, dude. I used to be part of the, uh, cause there's there's eight of us, bro. So you could just ima- you could just imagine shit. you could just imagine just a, uh, like our Christmas was basically like. Um, so were you a one gift family? Like, I, yeah, yeah, I was okay. that. I was basically that, bro. Okay. Yeah, and now now that we're older, we're we all just agreed upon like we used to do like Secret Santa and things like that. But some of our like we drifted up. I mean, some of us kind of drifted apart. Others don't really like pay attention to others that much. Yeah. So it'd be hard for them to gift each other. So we yeah. just can't. I I came up with the idea of like, hey, let's just let's just get everybody one gift. Yeah. Like everybody gets everybody one gift, bro. See, and that's and that's what we normally do. Um, and this year we're we're changing it up because. I get a little carried away um, because I don't you're, know. you're like my brother, bro. My brother gets carried away on the gifts, bro. He, I, don't, I don't know why I do it. Like I, I'll buy my mom. Uh, for instance, uh, Kate Spade had like a deal going on um, at the outlets. So it was, yeah. it was a good deal in the first place. I bought my niece who doesn't even like doesn't even doesn't really carry a purse, you know, and, and, you know, I thought she did. Uh, I even called her and was like, "Hey, what's your favorite color?" And you know, blah blah blah. So I got her like a teal one. Only I bought like seven purses there. Damn! Yeah, but I only spent like five, like five hundred. And that's, that's good, bro. That no, that, that def- it's still a lot of money. But yeah, 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 no, but that, for seven purses, bro, I, I know yeah. one purse that could cost that well, much money, bro. Because, like, like because you know it, it had the price, and then whatever they whatever you did, they took fifty or it was fifty percent off that price, and then. Uh, we on had the a next coupon. One. We had a coupon for twenty percent off. So yeah, it just damn. It just so, kept it. Yeah. So I was like, all right, we're done here. Um, and then yeah, I just don't want to be that person. And, and I know we've all been in that situation where we get someone a gift and they're just like, what the f- is this? Yeah. You know? yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. And and, and it's yeah. the, it's the most. It feels so bad. You yeah, feel bad yeah. as fuck, bro. It's just <laughs> you know. <laughs> And I don't, I don't, and I don't want to outdo anybody. I, that's not my whole purpose. I just don't, you know, because that um, you, you, I'd rather feel like, uh, like I'd rather people be like, damn, this this asshole really just gave them a expensive gift. Then, then the fuck is this? You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, like, well, because like, there was one Christmas, my mother in law, she told us uh, what my sister in law was looking for. Her, my sister in law was moving out, and she was like, um, she. Um, what'd she tell us? A pan set, a pan set, and we're like, a pan set. What do you mean, like cooking pans? She's like, she's like, yeah, like in the oven. So we're thinking like, like you know, bakery kind bakery of bakery stuff? stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. So we go and buy her a badass bakery set. Yeah, and then we, you know, we we buy her some other little stuff. What the fuck is a pan set, bro? Yeah. Is what I'm trying to figure out yeah, now, bro. Exactly. <laughs> and, and finding out she was talking about like cooking like uh pots and pots like, and pans pots bro and pans. Oh. so she like opens it up and she was like oh thank you and it was like 
And then finding That's out she, you know, she already had all like she's really big into baking. She already has all this stuff, so she was just Ooh. like, it just got it. Like I don't know, bro. I wouldn't yeah. be like, oh, thank you, because you just get a new set, bro. Replace all the old yeah. stuff with the well, new stuff, bro. Yeah, yeah, I, I know, but it was. I yeah. guess she just was expecting more. She was expecting the pots and pans, bro. So yeah, so this year um, we actually uh, went to this axe throwing place for a friend's birthday. And we asked everybody if they'd be interested in doing that just, you know, for our gift to them. And, I mean, it's still kind of pricey because it's, it's nine of us going. Um, but it's an experience. And, you know, even if you don't, like, it, it's it's kind of sketchy. Dude, axe know? throwing sounds pretty cool, bro. I'd go. It's, I it's would kinda, fucking go, it's dude. It's kind of sketchy. At first, you're kind of scared, dude. You're like, holy if I you don't, this, you don't want that thing to like, yeah, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and it's funny because there's a video that I just watched and this person was kind of just playing with it and it came back and nailed her in the head and just like cut her right open. But anyways, besides that, like they show you how to do it, but you're at first you're really scared because you know, you're not too worried about yourself. You're worried about the person who's throwing next to yeah. you. Yeah. You know, kind of that stuff. Cause they don't know what they're doing as much as you, you know, you don't either. So yeah, yeah. That's what we're doing. Uh, and then my side of the family, I don't know what we're doing because I, I mentioned that to my parents and they're just like, no, that doesn't sound fun. And it's just like, yeah, okay. All right. Uh, all, right. All, right. all right. We'll figure yeah. something else out. <laughs> so I don't know, man. I, Christmas is just way, way too complicated sometimes. More yeah, than I do. And it's probably just me overthinking it. Like, I get stressed out. I'm like, shit, did I get that? You know, but. What do you? Nah, um, bro. I think I think I don't know. My I kind of feel the same way, bro. Yeah. Kind of. It's 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 getting really expensive. Thing like, dude. I don't know, bro. Are we just losing out of t- like we're just losing touch, bro, or what? Because I think everybody's just losing touch with everybody. Just and and I feel like it's the technology. And, and I know I sound you know. Yeah, we sound like fucking old, old people. Ass, yeah. yeah, but like, I, oh, I feel uh, like the technology is getting interfering with our personal you know bro there's this badass quote that says uh back back then we used to use the internet to escape life now we use the internet to live life yeah that makes something, something sense. like that yeah yeah, something yeah. Like, it was something like dude, that bro like, you'll see people and i catch myself doing it i'm not you know i'll catch myself doing it. i'll be at a restaurant and then you know we, we were at uh pluckers the um the one in Hewlett, it just opened up. Uh-huh, we're, yeah, we're yeah. there, yeah. and something pops up on TV, and it just caught my attention. So I was like, "Okay, I'm gonna look this up." Right. And so, and that's what I did. And then I noticed myself, like, I'm like, "Dude, I'm one of these people." Like, and I'm glad I caught myself because <laughs> I would have looked at this website for hours. And it's just like that website will always be there. Just look it up. You know, turn your phone off, put it back in your pocket, and, and you know, go to it later. But always get sidetracked doing stupid stuff like that. And I, and I feel bad because, you know, people look at you like, damn, this dude's out with his wife and he's on his phone. And I, and, and I always get annoyed when I see that. Like, Dang, dude, I don't know. Um, I don't know, bro. Whenever, when I'm around somebody, bro, cause I was, I was raised old school. Yeah. I was raised old school. So, uh, my dad would never, my dad never had a phone until he was, my dad's first phone was uh, his, his, still his his first phone. He got it last year. No kidding. Last year, it's a flip phone, bro. See, he said he said I have no use for any any advanced technology other than you guys calling me when it's an emergency. And that's about it. See, and w- and when it first started, none of us needed that. You know, we just. I mean, I like the phone back in the day, but now it's kind of annoys me. Cause it's always there. It's always daunting me. Like it's always like, oh, I need to look at it, but I yeah, don't need to look at it. You don't. And, but. and honestly, it's just something in my pocket that gets in the way. And if I didn't really have to have it, like what I wish Apple would do, and Apple, please listen, if they um, came out with just a watch that would do everything for you, you know? Yeah. That's that's what you know. Dude, I don't like. I'm. A, I'm gonna be dead ass on. I don't think they're gonna do that. I don't think any company's gonna do that because they see how much money they make out oh, of everything, yeah. bro. Oh yeah. Like, it, that's what they want, dude. They oh, don't no, want. They don't sure. want. They don't want us to give. Like, they don't want. Uh, they don't want to give us like the answer. You know what I'm saying? Like what we need. Like, if the if the well, Apple Watch if the Apple Watch would do everything, bro, we like they'd make no more money. Obviously. Yeah. 
Right. Well, and that, and that's what kind of surprised me about the new iPhone. So the it's the 14 is the new one, right? 14, so the 13, yeah. you know, and the 14 are real similar. The only difference is the only big, huge was the camera. What was we talked the about camera, dude. Like yeah. you went from 13 or 12 or 13 megapixels all the way to 40 something. Like, yeah. Whoa. Why didn't y'all stare, stare step it, brother? Like 20, 30, you know, you could have made another, you know, whatever. They could have made another, they could have made another, like one that had 20 and then, and then do the bigger jump, bro. Exactly. Because I mean, even 20 megapixels is a big, big difference. 40? That's an, I mean, bro, that's I like professional. <laughs> but, you know, uh, me, uh, me and Presley were talking and he was listening to a podcast about uh, Whistling Diesel. And I guess that's all they film with is iPhones. You know, they, they have a ton of iPhones and that's what they do unless they want to get a real crisp in depth. Then they pull out the big, you know, nice cameras. But uh. yeah, I mean, basically everything. And, and it's crazy because they're talking about the differences and stuff like that. Like, was it a major difference or what did they feel like it was the same? Well, it's just because it's more durable than a camera. It's, it's easier to handle than one of those cameras. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. Um, and it's, you can shove it in your pocket. You can drop it. I mean, you can't really drop your, I mean, you nah, can drop it to an extent, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, You can drop um, it from here to this. Bit, yeah. You know and saying? I mean, yeah. the same with, the same with the phones, you know, the phones, they're not a hundred percent yet. And they're not going to be a hundred percent because they make too much money on damages. Um, but, Overall, I mean, dude, that's crazy. I was just crazy, bro. I, yeah. I don't know. But any everything you, I mean, you can do everything with the phone. And maybe I'm just so old school because I still carry a wallet around. I don't even need a wallet anymore because you know the phone, Apple Pay, and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna say ninety percent of the U.S. businesses have Apple, you know, Pay or or some kind of phone yeah. paying way, you know. So. Yeah. Yeah, and if they don't, don't shop there. Uh-uh. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just nah, kidding. Small I mean, Actually, I mean, you know what? More small businesses that I've been to locally own are more high tech than some of your big businesses. You know, dude. I know. I know. Like, there's some some. Let's take. Uh, I guess you can. People can say because if we're talking about American America wise, American Seven uh, Eleven, they're not all. No, they're not high tech at all. They're not I mean, high tech I mean, at they're all. getting, they're getting. There. But they're like, I think they would say, like, you can consider that a very high, like, high tech business. Or when, you, if you would go to um, a locally owned restaurant, like, um, or a chain, it's a chain, you could say, but it's it's not it's not as big as Seven Eleven, like First Watch. Yeah, yeah, first yeah. Watch. they're they're more like high tech than they. Yeah, than yeah, Seven Eleven, bro. Like they got that little computer. Yeah, and dude, and beep. or like. Um, this is also, a, I mean, this is more lo- a local to our, to ours, or maybe it isn't. I don't know what it is, but this is the only one that I know of. Muy frio. They have like iPads for their fucking, um, their, order it. <laughs> for their, che- they like basically their check stand is an iPad, bro. Oh yeah. Like, like they check well, you out on an thing. iPad, bro. Like, I, like, I don't, I don't, like, just like where, where I work. I don't know why we had to have all oh, like that big old yeah, thing right dude, there. <laughs> just, dude, dude, let me, let me, let's be simple about this. You yeah. Know? I, I mean, because if you look, there's, you know, there's all these buttons spread out, but if you all put them together, it's only like this, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah and then you got the yeah. subscreens and it's just like, okay, that's waste of space. And I know why they did that. You know, they're probably getting a hell of a deal on all those, um, Touch screen, HPs, you know, they're probably getting a hell of a deal. They're probably buying a million of them for who knows how much, a dollar a piece. But it's, I don't know, simplicity is, is a big thing for me anymore. Like, if if I can't use it, then it's, and I, I'm, really, I'm, not, I'm not big, you know, I'm not a technical guy, but I'm pretty good at figuring stuff out. And if it's, if it's not easy... Then you know anybody that is um, not technical, tech worthy, you know they're they're not going to be able to figure it out. I mean, yeah. just like this thing, you just kind of turn it on and it kind of does its own thing. I mean, it's it's not hard. Like it's not hard if they don't make it hard. But if yeah. they're making it, they're making it hard. Just like a lot of the old school was hard to use. Yeah, 
a lot of the new stuff. I mean, yeah, I mean, just yeah. the the first DJs, the first um, the first DJs record. actually had to spin the records and stuff like that. Now yeah. you don't even need that. Yeah, anymore. you, you got just a fake little. You know, yeah, like, you have the that's a, in your Mac or whatever has or iPhone, dude, whatever you it's use. Gotten, it's gotten mad. It's yeah, crazy. bro. Like, it's, like everything's simplified, and, and and I guess that's just technology advancing. But you know, I enjoy it. Fuck it. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's not, I enjoy that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, at the, uh, like, people have lost touch a lot. Like, yeah. I, like, I feel like it's definitely taken away from, you know, the culture of family. And that also comes from, you know, like, how, like, the, how the family is, too. Like, you'll see families that, you know, really close. And, you, you know, you're like, what the hell? And then you kind of yeah, look yeah. at it, and it's because the parents are there. Or, you know, the single parents there, they're having a good time with their kids. They're not, you know, stuck up in their phone. And, and you know, you might see the kids pull out their phones. or Every maybe, now and then, but it's not. Or one of the kids, but, you know, the kids are having a good time. Yeah, yeah, And then you got the one, you know, the some families you see. Everybody the, where has you their see phones the phones out on the table. Or where you see the phone. baby. You see the baby on an iPad, bro, oh, playing yeah. a game, oh, dude. Yeah. You'll see that, too. And it's, I don't know, like, the, those. I, I feel like that's a way for them to parent it now honestly like I, and and that sounds extremely bad and it i mean but i mean it, it's it's also a way for them learning too because they I'm, yeah. I, they came out with like apps yeah. and stuff like that that helps them learn i mean think about just think about this how how quick we are you know with our hands and stuff and i'm and and they've they've done research on it and it's from video games i mean video games have made us our reaction times a lot faster. Yeah, they've also made us a lot. You know, uh, are obese. You know, health wise is pretty bad if you let it get to that stage. Dude, this is something off topic, bro. But, but this is this is this is. Uh, I saw a video of this. Um, it was not. It was like a couple of days ago. But it was a kid who the pilot. The pilot he passed out. Like he he was passed out or whatever. And the kid off a of GTA flew and landed the plane, bro. <laughs> Because he's flown, he's flown like he was like he was like I play GTA all the time and I've flown so many planes on there. I was like, this is well, I'm not going down. See, and that's crazy, and that's fucking insane, bro. Like you, like if I was that kid, bro, if I was like my my age, and that happened, bro, I I wouldn't have known what to do. Oh no, I'd have been. Free. But that that kid pulled like the 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 wild card in Uno, yeah. bro. Pulled the manual out of his ass. <laughs> and like, Here we go, guys. <laughs> That's funny. No, I didn't hear about that, but I have heard about some things leading to, you know, or, or was there a kid that stole a pl- I can't remember. I, I've read so many things about stuff, and I don't know if it has anything, any interest. I don't know. I've read something somewhere that yeah. a kid either stole a plane or, and I'm pretty sure that's happened too. Yeah. Uh, the, the, with the good, there's also bad too. Never, so. never flown in his life and, you know, just, just flew, flew that away. flew away, yeah. So, but yeah, um, I mean, I don't know. It is, it, it's, yeah. The holidays really become overrated. Um, stuff's getting really expensive, bro. Basically, it's hard to it's hard to do a lot of things because people get out of touch. They don't want, like, people don't want. People aren't happy with Legos anymore. You know what I'm saying? Like they're not happy with like the the the. Well, instead of Legos, you got the app, the Lego app. You build, you know, whatever you want. Like, like <laughs> bro, like no, like you know, like it's not even personal anymore. It's nah, like, it's just like it's I mean, whatever it is. Yeah. I mean, I like tech, not technology as much as anybody else, but there's there's just a breaking point. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I guess. Wasn't there? There's a game where you that you could buy where you can meet people online all over around the world where you make your own avatar, and it's it was it was like Mark Zuckerberg. Zuckerberg came up with it. It's called the Metaverse, I think, or something like that. The Meta? And, oh no, the Metaverse. I don't know. Maybe I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I'm 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 kind of talking out my ass right now, but like I know there's there's, there's, a, there's, lot of, there's a lot of games like that. Is there? Yeah, you got. I mean, you can do that on Minecraft. Uh, there's Elder Scrolls online. Or you could just like, like you meet like the it's open world and like you meet anybody like and they could be from like France or whatever. I mean, it's it's open world to an extent. I mean, it, 
I I don't know because like in GT in GTA you can meet people from like yeah, other places, yeah. but like there's only a certain amount of people on there. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Like like oh, like it's like a whole bunch like anybody. It's just like one it's platform. open. It's uh, one platform. Okay. Every like everybody you you hop on there, you meet, you just go up to somebody and they're from like Ukraine or whatever. You know what I'm saying? That's kind of they have way. their own avatar. They have this this and that. You can do whatever you want. Uh. But it's like a VR game. I don't know anything about oh, VR okay. right now. I don't know. I don't know. Anything. That's kind of cool, I guess. I don't. I don't know what you yeah. would do with it, but that's cool. <laughs> Not many people have the game because, yeah, it's just you just communicating with other people. Yeah, it sounds kind of boring. Yeah, yeah. But it could work out in your advantage, unless it's being recorded. It's probably being recorded. It's probably being. They're, they're probably, no way they're gonna just keep yeah. all that shit secret. Yeah, because if that is if that was a thing, dude, there'd be a lot of illegal activity on that game. <laughs> so talking about illegal activity too, like, um, and this is totally off subject, and I don't, I don't know why I'm getting into it. <laughs> uh, since we're talking about it, um, get it, bro. So, uh, my wife showed me something yesterday, and there's these people online. You know, for instance, someone's like, "Oh, I can't can't afford to buy." Uh, a full deal of groceries. Um, I can only afford like half of it or whatever. And there's people online like, hey, I'll buy all your groceries. Just send me half the money or a quarter of the money. So these people are thinking like these people are being generous, right? But then finding out at the end of the day, they're stolen credit cards or stolen credit card numbers or, or, or whatever it is. They're buying it and then taking the people's money, that the money that they have. And using it for them. So for, exactly. And, profit, and they're sending it, you know, let, let's say they're, and they might be picking it up from the store, but most of the time they have it delivered to the house. Now they look like a suspect, dude. It's it's kind of funny how it ends Shit, up. Shit, like bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's kind of shady deal, but it's funny at the same time. It's like, wow, it's 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 kind of it's kind of a I wouldn't say it's a genius way, but it is kind of a genius way, like dude, that, to make some stupid money on the side. That's the yeah to make to make a like a you quick, call it quick quick money, dude. Like because by the time they because you could you could do that like three or four times within like an hour. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Before the credit card comes. Yeah, like, before. Hold up. You, you went to Walmart three times in a row. And you spent yeah. Four or five hundred bucks here. Um, and then, you know, they're getting what? Six hundred dollars out of if they're able to, you know. Yeah. Buy that much. And that was six hundred dollars for one hour. Yeah. Like, like dude. Yeah. yeah, that's 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 a good. That's quick money. Yeah. Let me let me let me take a piss real quick. All right. Because I've been holding this in. <laughs> So for the people that don't know, we're gonna we have a hypothetical you, you every do. day of the week, bro. You do. Uh, we, we we me and Eddie every week we'll hop off, or like we'll we'll switch off, not hop off. We'll we'll switch off every um episode, every episode, and uh, one of us will have a hypothetical question. If we have a guest or whatever, we would tr- we'll try to pertain to the guest or try to make, try to have the guest. Like this is basically for a guest to interact with us. And this is something off the top of our head. Like this this isn't or we're not discussing it. Yeah, we we uh, you come in like not knowing what it. All of us come in not knowing that what way. it is. Nothing scripted. The, this person comes up with that on their own, and the, and they they just come in and. Set it all on the table, and this is you get our like the get honest you out of the blue, yeah. yeah it strikes you, and you, yeah. you really got to use your noggin, get the gears turning, yeah. Uh, this week's type of the I'll, I'll start it off this week, and uh, we'll go in with the oh, what was it? What was it? Uh, oh, um, if you were reincarnated as uh, any animal, what animal would you be, and like why? That's what I'm about. It's a hard question, dude. <laughs> That's a hard question, bro. I was, I was so there was there was actually, and this is off topic, but there was actually a movie, um, a movie about basically that same question, but it was it was a long, it wasn't a question, it was like, man, it it was it's been so long since I've seen it, but I want to say how how it was kind of set up was, um, they would send you to this place. I guess when you're just like kind of done with life mm-hmm. and they're like, okay, what kind of animal do you want to be? And I think they said like 99% of the people pick a, a lobster. Was it a lobster? I think lobster? It, I think it was a lobster. Yeah. Or, or yeah, I think it was a lobster or something like that or maybe a crab. Yeah. But anyway, Why? I, 
I don't know. Uh. And, and, and like the whole movie, because one guy wanted to be like another animal, and I can't, I can't remember. I think it was like a donkey or something like that. And they're just like, why do you want to, you know? Or they were just uh, astonished. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By the fact that he just. And, and I could be completely wrong about the animals, but I know it was something like it was a weird. It was a weird animal, and I want to say it was a lobster, and then him picking something else, and then yeah, it's and and that was a whole movie like they turned you into your the, whatever you wanted to be, right? Um, reincarnated animal per se. Um, but what would I want to be, dude? I I kind of know what I want to be. You do? Do you want you want to go first, or you want me to go first? You go first. Let me think about this. All right. Uh, mm, oh, I'm I'm in between. I was in between. I'm thinking in between three, but I'm I'm leaning to to the one I'm leaning on right now. So I'll get I'll give the people my top three. Um, one would be a, a grizzly bear because I like the I kind of like the way they live. They sleep throughout the winter. They're fat. They eat. They they they're like that is totally predators, different bro. than anything. Uh, like, bro, you're totally opposite from any of that. You don't sleep. You don't. Bro, like I would like to sleep, bro. Like I would like to sleep, bro. Like I would. That's. I mean, yeah, it has nothing to do with. But they they eat, they eat, and they're predators. And bro, if you see a grizzly bear come up to you, bro, he he's twice of like oh, a, yeah. a big man dudes. size, bro. They do that. The thing is huge, bro. They there ain't, there ain't no stopping it. And like, that'd be it'd be pretty cool. They 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 live their life in in a cool kind of way. My my favorite animal as a kid used to be a monkey, and uh, uh, a lot of people say like I kind of resemble that because I'm like goofy, playful, and like I guess like I'm, I'm entertaining. You know that's the, and that 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 would have been my like that's my number two I guess you could say, but my first I think I'd be reincarnated as a lion, bro. A lion. A lion. Yeah. I I like the way they live, bro. And I like how I like. They, there's there's so many reasons why they're king of the jungle, bro. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to think, man. It's still kind of a difficult question. I I think one of the animals um, that I'd want to be is like a hawk, um, just because. Dude, that's pretty dope. I didn't think, I didn't yeah. even think about an animal that can fly, bro. Yeah, and that's, yeah. And that's just one that keeps coming to mind. Um, I feel like you just can't go wrong being a bird unless you're like a dove or a quail. I'm, I'm saying like, you know, if you're an eagle, you're protected, you know? You yeah. Can, no one's yeah. Gonna shoot yeah. Well, an idiot will shoot at an eagle. Um, a hawk. I mean, they're too damn fast. Um, they're the fa- aren't they the fastest bird, bro? Like, I, like, I think so. I, I don't know. I, I, I haven't fat, like fact checked it, but yeah, but they're, they're up there. They're up there, bro. Yeah, I want to say like, I think I watched a documentary on them, and, like, over the years, their whole body has changed from when they, yeah, because, Shit. like, scooping down to, they're like, scooping attack, them. attack a predator. Like, they're, dude, they got, they're, they're, they're angled perfectly, like. Yeah, but not even that. Like, their, their, their nose holes are, like, turned backwards, because if they go to scoop down at the speed they go, it would, like, implode their lungs. Oh shit, um, bro! Yeah, so like their whole body structure has changed from I guess the first time they ever, you know, from the very beginning, the very beginning to now. Yeah, yeah. Um, and what else? Uh, a sloth, sloth, dude. Yes, you chose a good one, bro. <laughs> That's awesome. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, I'm a fucking sloth, day. bro. No one expects nothing. To, I don't even know. Are they a predator to anything? <laughs> bro, <laughs> they just do their thing, bro. That's, uh, that, that's, that's bro. all yeah. I want to do. It's just my thing every day. So I'm just gonna leave it to those two. I I, I think I think I would really just want to be those two. Bet- between something like super fast and then something just really like chilled out and relaxed yeah yeah out. i saw a video earlier today where this guy was like i had to pick up my best friend today and he was on a bow and he and uh the the camera just turned and looked and it was a sloth just like chilling and smiling bro like it was so badass bro i was, I was like yes that's how you do it bro that's, that's how you awesome do it. yeah you can buy them they're expensive I, I, oh yeah i, I, I want to say when i looked at one it was like eighteen thousand bucks and i was like no yeah, it's no. probably more now. I was like, 
what, 15 years ago? <laughs> God damn. Yeah, they're probably like triple that now, bro. Like, yeah. Because I'm pretty sure. I don't I don't know. if I, Didn't they make like laws or something like that where we can't own anything? Exotic animals? Yeah. yeah. yeah and that's exotic, sure. I think. Oh, is yeah, it? yeah, for sure. For sure. I think anything. Yeah. Pretty much everything. Anything out of this country I think is exotic, I think, considered. There's some stuff that's in the country that's exotic. Like, uh, do we have do we have pelicans? Yeah, we have pelicans. No, it's not. It's not a pelican. What's that one that people say it's beautiful and it has like a big like, it's like blue oh, yeah. and uh, like green and and like once uh, it spreads out its feathers, bro. Uh, it's not a pelican, bro. I know it's not. No. It's not. It's uh. <laughs> are, our listeners are probably like, y'all are a bunch of fucking fools. Yeah, dude. <laughs> like, oh, uh, shoot. Uh, but I can't remember, bro. But it, it's the blue bird that has like a bunch of feathers and they yeah. say they're very beautiful. Like, yeah. and green, and they're like green, yellow. Like, uh, they have a nice design on them. Yeah. And that designs to like uh, attract their. Isn't no, it just to scare off predators? Oh, like, is it? Yeah. You know, they fluff their tail. Um, or. Maybe it is their tail. Uh, I, don't know. I would just say feathers, bro. Dang, what are they called? They can't fly either, right? They can't fly, or can they? I, I'm no, they can't fly, bro. I'm you. dude. I can pretty much figure out every other bird right now. What are they called? If Prezi was here, Prezi's gonna listen to this and be like, "Y'all are a bunch of yeah, you are you fucking <laughs> morons, bro? How do y'all not know what this is?" And I'm gonna be like, "Damn, yeah." Um, hey. It's it's, a, it's whatever, bro. Comment down below if, if you if, just call us an idiot and just say what the bird is, bro. Yeah. So so we we like wow. That's like something we learned in like kindergarten. What they were, bro. yeah, bro. Like, holy cow! I thought it was uh, didn't it start with a P, bro? Peacock. Peacock. Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, yeah. That's funny. yeah. 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 Those are cool. Yeah, my uncle used to have a couple of those, and then a, a, an emu. I don't know what that is, bro. Big ass bird. I think it's a big ass. Is it? Is it the one that has like its knees backwards? Like the knees are backwards. No, you're talking Instead about of, you're talking about ostrich. Okay. Yeah, it's, I, I want to say it's like a. It's basically the same. They get pretty big, but like, they're pretty dangerous too. Like you oh. have one of those, a couple of the peacocks, um, and that was, that was. Years ago, and then they got loose, and then he never went to go get them. So, nah, they, they're, they're, wherever they they're went, done for it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're done for. <laughs> but yeah, man, I'm gonna keep with the sloth and the hawk. I can't think of anything else. Everything else just doesn't. I don't know. It just doesn't. Uh, I don't know. Bro. I I feel like a lot of animals fit me, bro. Yeah, I, I can see you as a lion because you're, you, you know, you, yeah, I can see you as. Uh, yeah, that's what, that's I I would stick as that as my first, bro. Yeah, I, I would do that as my first, bro. But shit, that's pretty much all we got, I yeah. guess. Yeah, I that's it for us. Yeah. All right. Well, what do we, let's 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 recap for a little bit, bro. We were talking about a bunch of shit. <laughs> <laughs> basically, we 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 basically like why people. People have are losing communication. Why holidays are overrated? Uh, pretty much how t- the times have changed, bro. Over like technology, I think te- just technology is taking just taking its course on us. Dude, like, it is, bro. Out, out of every everything that we talked about today, besides like, well, I mean, the hypothetical, bro. Besides the hypo- hypothetical, hypothetical bro. in the movies, but I mean, even even then, I mean, if. <laughs> Honestly, if it wasn't for technology, I don't. I don't think we would. Have. Anyways, everything that we talked about today, pretty much technology has had its course or run through. It's it's going through it right now. Yeah. Like I I don't I don't think it's run its course because I don't I don't think it's done, bro. I think oh we're no, keep it going. I think, oh no, but I I'm think it's saying just, like on like it's running its course on us as a whole. Like, yeah. You know. Yeah. Eventually, we're just gonna be AI. You know, we're gonna sit. Dude, at home there's and- this video that I'm scared to watch that says like AI is crazy taking over or some shit like that. Oh, yeah, dude. Appa- it is. Bro, apparently there was this. There's this. Uh, 
Apparently, uh, it was some country, bro. It was, it was uh, I don't remember if it was Russia or, or like Iraq. No, it wasn't Iraq. It was probably I think China or something like that. They were working on a bunch of like military robots, and one day the, the one of the robots like started getting too advanced, and he started like going rogue on them. So they shut him down. They shut that one down, and they started shutting the rest of them down. Well, one of them programmed himself to be to to be able to shut himself on when he was shut down. So he shut himself on and started shutting others on. Whenever the, when when he started shutting others on, they came in and started like like destroying them. Right? Well, he managed to kill like four people, bro. That's crazy, dude. That was it was uh, dude. That I was like, what the dude? They, I mean, it's whatever. Honestly, it'd be our fault anyways. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You sure. know what I'm saying? Like like, and I don't think I don't think it's gonna completely take over, bro, because. And but, they and like like once we run out of electricity or power, they're done. You know what I'm saying? Like 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 yeah. they they're not gonna run off of, uh, air like us. You know what I'm saying? And the technology hasn't got that advanced yet. They haven't got that advanced. I, I don't think they're ever gonna like. I don't think they're ever gonna get like like it's gonna at least be like 500 years before they get that advanced, bro. Dude, you gotta think about you gotta think about this. For instance, TVs. Yeah. All right, so let's see. But TV's still on cords, bro. You still got to plug it in and get electricity from exactly. it, bro. And, and, you know, and, that, and I'm glad you kind of brought that up. I was thinking about that the other day. Yeah. Definitely with this setup, I'm like, man, why haven't they got rid of wires? And not that I, I think that the technology is there, but I think what they're kind of scared of, scared of is um, all the, the, the waves, you know, all the waves uh, to connect things you yeah. know just causing issues with us in general like know? as as a like they race say 5g you know and i don't i don't know anything about it but the big thing is 5g causes you know cancer or whatever it causes but it, it kind of in the same sense i feel like the technology's there they're just don't want to put it out because maybe it does cause issues i mean who knows what it would do? Who, I mean, yeah, I don't. I mean, I'm sure they've tested it, bro. Oh yeah. They, so they're so like, oh yeah. They they know what's coming. Like, but I what? feel like there's a reasoning behind it. Like, there's something that could. I guess the technology is not there where it could keep it from affecting us as a whole, yeah. or affecting us, our bodies, or our brains, or whatever. But yeah, because I was thinking about that the other day, and I was like, there's probably a good reason for it because. But even then, back to what I was talking about. So, like TVs. Right. So, the very first TV that I bought, you know, is this big, ugly TV. I remember, bro, the box TV. (laughs) That was back back in 2000 when I was able to buy that. Yeah, I don't even think flat screen. Flat screens might have been introduced, but they were. They were, bro. Back in 2000, bro. I don't. I bought my then. first. I bought my first flat or my first plasma TV, and it's actually like in that room right there. Uh, it's in, that Samsung right there. It was a fifty-five inch. It was the best they had to offer at that time, and I want to say it was thirty-eight hundred bucks. Yeah. What the fuck, bro? Today, no way, today, bro. I mean, obviously they don't have plasma. I don't think they sell plasma anymore. But you can buy a fifty-five inch Samsung, you know, smart TV or some shit TV, like that, bro. LED. I actually we went to Best Buy the other day and they had they had the fifty-five inch for like it was a Black Friday sale for two twenty-nine, and and that's what's crazy. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't know the difference. I mean, plasma is obviously different from LED, but yeah. It went from plasma to LED for a reason. Yeah. But in that perspective, that happened. Also in 99 or 2000 error, I had my phone. I want to say it was. No. The flip phone? No, it was. A, it was. A, I might be too far behind, far back, but I want to say I had, it was a flip phone. Yeah. I, yeah. I want to say it was the Razor. You're talking 20 years a razor that could barely do, or a flip phone that could barely do anything. I think the most advanced phone at that time. You can call anybody. Was a, well, yeah, but it was the Sidekick, the uh, Motorola Sidekick. I think you could play like video games. I think that was the most advanced phone at that time. Right. And now, what is that? That was, date that was 2000. 
23, that's 23 years ago. And now we have phones where, you know what I'm saying? That's how fast technology is moving. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. And that's what I kind of want to get. Like, 500 years is a long time. I mean, it's taken 20 years to advance. I, I mean, look at. We got electric cars now. Look yeah. at look at look at the my truck out there. It has nothing in it. It's a ninety nine, and then your truck is you know. It's an eleven. It's a twenty eleven, and, and I got like Bluetooth and shit already. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, and look at the cars now. All LED dashes and yeah, uh, they're they're screens, bro. They're yeah. dashes of screen, bro. Like they, exactly. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like technology yeah, yeah, yeah. is not slowing down. Not at all, dude. Like, it's, yeah, it's you're right. crazy. You're right. You're, you I, got a point I, I feel like if, if they put enough thought into it, 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 it's the newest thing. It's it's just like... What do you, what I mean, but at the same time, like, what if they haven't come up with it yet? You know what I'm saying? Like, what if they've tried, but nothing's worked? Or no, no like, they're just like, whatever, just put a wire in there. Like, fuck it, put a wire there. And, and well, like, it just depends what you're talking about. I'm pretty sure, like, everything you could think of, they've developed it, but it just had its flaws, and they didn't see it. You know, the technology wasn't there for them to make a profit for me and you. Because, yeah, you can go after, you know, the, the top 10% of people who have all this money to buy something. Probably they're never going to buy because it's useless to them, or yeah. they could provide, you know, weight. They have it there. They know what they're looking for. They're waiting for the technology to come out, and then they'll drop it in and be like, "Okay, now it's affordable for everybody." Now instead of only making you know hundreds, you know, a couple hundred millions of dollars, we can make a billion dollars, or you know, hundreds. Yeah, of millions yeah. Of dollars. Yeah, you're right. I don't, I don't know, bro. Because some, I, I mean, we're 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 smart. Yeah, like the human race is smart. Yeah, bro, but. We haven't learned how to fly like without using like, like we haven't learned how to fly out in space without using gas, bro. I, it, just it is, and I know eventually we're probably gonna get there, bro. But but we gotta put another like, yeah. I mean, it's thirty, it's, forty years on that one, bro. It's all there, and I don't, I don't really know what we have our limitations, bro. Like we're we're to an extent until we find that next. You know, everything is just by you know finding. I, you know, they they find certain minerals in the earth, and they you know have scientists that just you know dick around all day with stuff. Whatever, <laughs> yeah, they get paid to dick around, like get paid to just do one thing with yeah. another. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then eventually they're like, oh well, this does this, and voila, you know. It's, yeah. I don't know, man. I I feel like I, I give it. It's, yeah. it's just gonna be crazy in the next five years of just the technology. No, yeah, 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 yeah. it's gonna. It's, I'm not. I'm not. Uh, I'm not saying it's not. I mean, um, apparently, well, we're in 2022. Aren't we supposed to run out of gas in like 2020 oh. 20, 20, 20, or 20, 2030? Um, tw- so you know, kind of something you know. I've always always asked the older generation about stuff and. Yeah, there was this guy, this older guy. He's actually he's a customer. Uh, he came in the store, and you know, I kind of made that comment. He's like, yeah, "They've been making that statement since the '80s that we were going to run out." And it and it's crazy because um, you know I read something not too long ago that said we lost or ninety. It was ninety million barrels of oil went missing out of reserves and no one, you know, they don't know how, you know, what happened to it. Um, and, and you got to think, you got to think, oh, how, there, bro. how much, but it, I guess it was missing for, for a, like how many, how, how much oil do we have that 90 million barrels can just go missing and we, we, we didn't recognize it. Like, I don't know if it was sitting in barrels or if it's, you know, or you or, could do, it could be it could have been over time. Yeah, no, for sure, it, it probably was, but still, like, yeah, yeah 90, ba- 90 million barrels went missing, and we're just like now all of a sudden, like, oh, we don't know where it's at. Yeah, and like, I, how you miss that? How do you miss ninety million barrels of gas, bro? Yeah. Like, so I mean, I don't know, dude. Like, I don't think. I mean, 
Will we ever run out of oil? Yeah, eventually, but I don't think it's any any time in our timeline. Like, uh, okay, I mean it's it's probably depleting faster than they predicted, you know, years ago, and they're just trying to, and they're they're definitely trying to boost, um, a, you know, the whole green electric cars, which I don't have a problem so, with. So, do do you think, bro, like? Maybe it's not. Maybe it's not that we're losing the resources to make gas or like losing oil. As in more of the fact that we've been polluting this earth so much that they want to clean it up. And well, yeah. and and if we keep if we keep going at the rate that we're going right now, like we're gas dependent. You know, we're yeah. oil dependent. Well, so I guess our carbon footprint has been getting better over the years from you know previous years when there wasn't all this um carbon out there well just all the uh stuff that we have that has made our carbon footprint a little less i don't know how to really uh, uh, like like, like yeah. um worse i, I guess you could like say back worse. in the 90s like cars were just kind of just running straight Ex, you know, exhaust, and now we have... Exhaust, like, you can have black smoke coming out of your car, yeah, and people it, wouldn't be like, ah, it's, it's just the car mount. Exactly. Like, and, you know, we didn't have... Because you know, I, I think now you won't even pass ex- inspection. inspection. Yeah, 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 and that was the biggest thing. I don't think they had... I don't know for sure what they had. I think it was just a safety inspection back then. Yeah, I want to say it was when I was a kid. Yeah, I, was, I think it was a safety ins- Now you it's actually sure like your an blinkers, engine. Your your headlights, your horn worked, your windshield wipers worked, and that was what it was when I was a kid. Now... They plug and, into your dude, car. the crazy thing is, is that's how my bike is, bro. Yeah, that's how my bike is, bro. When I go get my bike and your blinkers, your your steering, your tires, they look at you. They just look at your tires and try to see if they have thread in them, bro. Yeah. And I, I, th- I would like, I when I first got a bike, bro, I was like, oh damn, they're gonna like really go in on this bike, bro. But nah, dude, all you need is like wheels or steering, the headlight, the the light, the what are those called? Headlights. The mirror lights. The, the rear yeah. mirrors. The, the, Whatever that. Whatever that. Yeah. Actually, dude. Now, now, now that you say that, I read uh, a two cycle weed eater uh-huh. for what was it to mow to mow a yard or to weed eat? What was it? Ten thousand a ten thousand or twenty thousand square foot yard? Whatever it was was equivalent to a Ford Raptor making a trip from Austin to Michigan. It puts out the same the same uh pollution. Like emissions. Emissions, yeah, that's the word I'm looking for. Yeah. And I was like, what? <laughs> that blew my mind, dude. I was like, whoa. And I could be off about the distance on the the, the two cycle weed eater, but it was something crazy like that. I was like God damn, dude, that's I don't know, bro. And that's we, and we that's... use that on the these long crews use those on the daily, and I mean, you can't blame them because our, our electric electric powered stuff hasn't isn't isn't up to standards yet. Like I have, you know, a gas trimmer, and I have an electric trimmer, and yeah, dude, all day long, I will pick the gas trimmer, even though the electric trimmer is easier to to use by. As far as you know, like all you do is plug it in, push the button, and it should well, not start. Even that. It's, it's just a battery, it just and then you go around. But like the power difference between the electric versus the gas, that is, gas is going in, dude, it's going in, bro. It's it's good, it's kicking. About, yeah, you're talking about nothing's nothing stopping that thing. And I, you know, the, the electric trimmer is supposed to be one of the top ones, and I just I can see why people, consumers, consumers look at electric like a joke because of, you know, the differences. And I know it's better for the earth, and, and, and I agree. Like, I, if I could use the electric, if it was really equivalent to my gas. Electric all day, bro. Electric all day, bro. Yeah. Like, but the, it's just, the, the, they don't, like, people have seen both sides, bro. Like, yeah, the you, technology you t- just hasn't gotten there. Yeah. And it's going to take us invest, you know, it's going to, it's going to take these companies investing money into this, but they're not going to invest it if you're not willing to 
put <laughs> pay for hey, it. Bro. Yeah. Well, then if you if you as a consumer aren't gonna buy it, they're not gonna waste it. If they don't, if they see that more people are buying gas, gas trimmers, they're just gonna, pull, you know, just keep it the same or you know, just adjust it, just adjust it a little. They're gonna adjust. They're gonna oh, try yeah. to make it a little bit better because yeah, yeah, yeah. they want more. They want more money, more consumers. Yeah. But I mean, they're they're not gonna spend like billions of dollars, to bust out with this thing, yeah. and no one buys it. I mean, then they're broke, bro. Like I mean, uh, yeah. as, as much as Elon's hated on for the electric car. Bro, the only reason why any company is investing in electric cars is because Elon made something, a dream possible, per se. And I know people are Dude. going to disagree a- upon that, but I'm saying... No, nah, bro. From nobody going, nobody knew electric cars before Tesla. Exactly. And like, that's, like, and that's and it, it, t- it, it took Tesla to put... Like, a Tesla put electric on the map. Exactly. That's what I mean, it did. I mean, electric's been in the past, too. But yeah. no one has perfected it like Tesla. Yeah. And I give that guy props all day long because he yeah, did bro. something that no one was willing to give the time of day to. Or they had, you know, the time of day to put into that. I mean, you gotta... I mean, GM is talking about all electric by 2028. Oh yeah, I remember that, bro. And Mopar Ford, isn't Ford. Ford is. I, I think. I think Mopar, uh, Mopar, Chevy, and um, Ford are all just going all electric. And didn't and Amazon said they were going electric too on their on their trucks, didn't they? Yeah, a, a while ago. Yeah. I don't know, man. I think the technology is going to take over. And show us, you know, I, I, I really hope it, it does something to preserve the earth before we destroy it all. But yeah, I, I do too, bro. I, I, I mean, want to see a prosper, I, bro. But. I, I won't see anything happen in my lifetime, but, you know, just my nieces and nephews, I, I want to, and them to enjoy life as much as possible before, you know. Regar- regardless, we're fucked, apparently, bro. Apparently... Well, uh, what is it? The 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 rays, the rays of uh the sun are getting worse and worse, bro. There's yeah, because of something the like that, bro. Grass, yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah so it's, some shit like that, bro. But apparently, I mean, that, it is what it is. We're we're gonna try. We're gonna try. We're doing our best. We're the past try. has screwed us, and now it's time for us futuristic people to fix it. Yeah, but at the same time, you really think they really screwed us, bro? I don't. I don't. Know. I think they were just trying to. Do what we were doing. It's all about technology, man. Their technology just wasn't there, and they were trying their best. Yeah. And now we got to do the same thing, bro. Like, even though we got to fix what they fix all the the former like former mistakes. How are you? How were you gonna get from their spot to our spot without going in between? You know what I'm saying? No, for sure. That's what I'm saying. Like the technology wasn't there, so they did the best they could. Uh, and then, so you can't like, really like again. Consumer dollars makes the te- technology go round. So you know, yeah, yeah bro, I, I agree, bro. Trillions of dollars just it, just going <laughs> in circles into technology. I mean, yeah, dude, it's 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 insane. But I think it's definitely it's definitely getting better. <sighs> yeah, well, that's been. I guess that we should. That's yeah. that's a good wrap, man. Um. This has been the Workers' Comp, your boy G, your boy Eddie. We've, we're missing Dakota. Uh, word has it, he said he's he's going to make some appearances. He should be back uh, um, within these next two weeks. We'll see if that's really factual. We'll just keep it rolling on our own. Press wasn't able to be here today. He's kind of, he's... Life's. Under the well, uh, under the weather. Yeah. Yeah, life life hits a couple times. Well, um, yeah. Uh, within these next weeks, we have a we have something special coming up for the people. Uh, uh, and I'm just I'm just gonna throw this out there. If if any if any of our viewers and listeners wants to come join us, like I think they should really like we should really like try to get someone. Yeah, reach out, yeah. reach out, reach give out. us give us a topic you want to talk about, and and let us let us do our thing on it, and then. If we see that it's phase, you know, doable, and we'll shoot, we'll bring you on for yeah. sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. All right, that's all we got for y'all. Peace out, guys.